Welcome to lecture number 19 of the series Unreal 5 for Arquis and in today's lecture we'll learn about the last two important points you need to know if you're modeling something for Unreal Engine and they are adding material slots and the final one is to set the origin point of our objects. Let's first learn about adding the material slots and then we'll move on to set the origin point of our objects. So adding material slots for the objects is actually a very good practice. Especially if you want to add two or more materials on the same object. Let's take an example to clear this point. Let me select this cushion. Let's isolate this and let's add a material. Now, if you don't add a material on your 3D software, it is totally fine. You can always create new materials inside Unreal Engine. But let's say for instance, you want a different texture or a different material on this side and a different texture or material on the other side. In that particular case, you need to have two material slots so that you can add different textures and different materials on each side inside Unreal Engine. Because inside Unreal Engine, you won't be able to add two or more slots for one object. So if you want two materials for one object, you need to add two material slots and you need to assign the part of the object to that material. So to add different materials on each side, I'll go into the edit mode. Let's first add another material. Let's go into the edit mode and I'll select the faces on this side. Okay, so I have selected all of my vertices on this side. So now I will assign all of these vertices to this material. Now after selecting all of these vertices, let's assign them to this material. And now I'll press Ctrl I on my keyboard to select the unselected vertices. And now I'll go into the second material and let's assign this side to this material. Now if I select this material, it will select all of the vertices that I assigned to this material and if I select this material, it will select all of my vertices that are assigned to this particular material. So if you want to add two different materials to different textures on one object, in that particular case you need to assign two materials 
inside your 3D software. You won't be able to assign two materials on one object in Unreal. And let's now start adding the materials. I'll select this object and let's add a material. Now in similar case, if you want to have a different material on the exterior of this wall and a different material on the interior one. So you need to select your exterior part and assign a different material to that part. And then you need to select your interior part and assign a different material to that one. So I'll select all of my walls. Let's select the interior walls as well. And now I'll select this one. I'll press Ctrl L and I'll link my materials. Let's hide all of these. Now Let's create a separate material for our cabinets. I'll select all of my cabinets. And now I'll select this one. I'll press Ctrl L and I'll link my materials and accept this one. I'll hide all of these. Now select these objects. I'll select this one and I'll press Ctrl L and I'll link all of my materials and let's hide them. Let's create a separate material for our shelf and the separate material for our base. Let's hide both of them. Let's create a new material for this surface. Hide it. Okay. Let's hide the DXF file. And I'll go into the edit mode. Let's add a loop cut. Let's pull this edge on Z and place it right here. And I'll press F and I'll separate this entire face by selection. Okay. This is the water material. Okay, let's hide it. I'll select this one. I'll select these faces. And these faces as well. And let's assign a different material to them. Yeah, let's assign this material to these selected faces and I'll press Ctrl I on my keyboard 
and let's assign this material to these faces. Let's hide this one. Yeah, okay, let's select this object and I'll create a new material. Let's select everything. I'll press Ctrl L on my keyboard and I'll link my materials and let's hide it. Okay, so we have added materials to all of our objects. Let's unhide everything. Yeah, okay. Okay, so now the fifth and the final point to set the origin of our objects. Now this one is pretty straightforward. All I have to do is I'll select everything in my scene and I'll make sure that my 3D cursor is on the world origin. Now I'll go into the object properties and I'll set the origin to the 3D cursor for all of my objects. Okay. Now all of my objects have one origin point and that is the 3D cursor. It is important to set the origin to 3D cursor because it really helps place all of our objects in our scene in Unreal Engine. So it is a good practice to set the origin for all of our objects to the 3D cursor. This is the place where my Z axis and my X axis and my Y axis, all of my axes coincide with each other. So I've set the origin of all of my objects to this point. So now it will become really easy for me to adjust the position of all of my objects inside Unreal Engine. So when we import these objects to Unreal Engine, it will be much easier for you to understand. For now, whatever the software you're using, just set the origin point of all of your objects to the world origin. Okay. So that's it for this lecture. In the next lecture, we'll learn how to export all of our files in FBX for Unreal Engine. So I'll see you guys in the next one.